In this video, we're going to go over finding slope off of a graph. So slope is still the steepness of a line. We are going to look at more as a ratio of the rise to the run. The rise being the change in the vertical axis, a positive rise being positive, and a negative rise going down. Um, the, chain, the run being the change in the horizontal axis. If it's positive, it goes to the right. If it's negative, it goes to the left. So the formula we use for ordered pair or for points was the slope was equal to the change in the y value over the change in the x value. We found that by subtracting the y's in the numerator and subtracting the x's in the denominator. When doing a graph, it will still be the change in the y value, but you're going to find that by just counting the rise. The denominator will still be the change in the x value, but that will be found by counting the run or how far right or left. So let's do an example. If we were going to do this problem, find the slope of the line, using the ordered pair, we would write the ordered pair. We would write the formula, either delta y over delta x, or this formula, literally saying to subtract them. We would do the subtracting and find our slope. If you're going to do this off of the graph itself, it is actually a lot simpler and easier and quicker. We still write the formula slope is equal to the rise over the run. But when we plug it into the formula, the rise is how far up it goes. From the bottom point, we would count. We only need to go up one till we are even with the higher point. So the rise is one. The run is how far over you count. Since we're counting to the right, it's positive. And since it goes one, two, the run would be a two. And that's it. If the fraction can simplify, for example, 2 over 4 would reduce to 1 half. If it was improper, you would leave it improper. But you write your formula, you count your rise over run, and you have your slope.